cruising is the best value because your meals, your entertainment, and your shipboard activities are included. And included sounds good when you're a family on a budget and planning a vacation. If you've never been on a cruise, it may sound a bit intimidating. Which ship do you choose? How do you get to the port? And what do you pack? And of course, no one wants to ruin memories of their vacation. So here are five tips for smooth sailing. Stuart Sheeran with CruiseGuy.com says it's best to research online, but don't book online. Let a travel agent do that for you. They're usually aware of discounts you may not know about. Then book as early as you can. Because the best cabins are usually the first ones to go. And on a lot of ships, when you're talking about, let's say, Royal Caribbean's Allure or Oasis of the Seas, the two largest ships in the world, the top seven categories are sold out for almost the next two years. Next idea, join loyalty programs. You may receive discounts on tickets, room upgrades, even priority boarding. They're typically free to join and look into booking your own flight. One bonus is flexibility, another cost. So it's always best to take a look and see what the price of the cruise is, cruise only, and then add in the cruise line air and see how much of a difference because you could wind up saving yourself several hundred, if not thousands of dollars. Keep in mind the price of alcohol has gone up, so make sure you pack a little extra money in your budget if you plan to drink. As for tipping, most cruise lines charge your account up to $15 per person per day to cover restaurant staff. So make sure you ask about this when you check in. And one final tip, make sure you visit the U.S. State Department's website to make sure you have the right legal documents before you get on your cruise. No papers? No cruise. Want to know exactly what you need? Come on over to MoneyTalksNews.com and we'll hook you up. I'm Jim Robinson.